we'll now consider vertical asymptotes in the interior rather than the end points. So we've got an interval from A to B, and we want have a function that we want to integrate. And it's continuous at the end points, and it's continuous almost everywhere, except that there's a vertical asymptote somewhere in the interior of this interval. We deal with this case in terms of the other cases. Let's give the location of the vertical asymptote a name. Let's call it C. Then the integral from A to B is the integral from A to C. Thus, the integral from C to B. And this and this, are also improper, but they're improper of a integrals of a previous type. That is to say, they're improper integrals of the type that we considered in previous videos. So we know how to deal with these. For this integral to exist, for it to converge, both of these must exist. They must both converge. So, for example, the integral from zero to three of one divided by x minus two squared dx. This has a vertical asymptote in between zero and three. It happens at two. So we break this up as the integral from zero to two plus the integral from two to three. Well, if you've been watching these videos in the order they appear on our Sakai page, we've already done one of these. Let me remind myself which, this one. And this integral ended up diverging. It does not exist. So we don't need to waste our time asking about this integral. For this to be defined, both of these have to be finite numbers. If this isn't defined, then neither is this. 
you have to be very careful with these improper integrals. If you got careless with this and used the fundamental theorem, you would get a finite answer and it would be wrong. It's important to recognize that this is improper.